Hi there, this is a quick tutorial showing you how to do blend shapes from ZBrush and take them straight into Maya. Now um, you need to go to make sure that you've got it loaded. If you go to plugins and look down your plugin list inside ZBrush, you should see blend shapes. If you haven't got it loaded, you'll need to go to Pixelogic's download center. So um, just find where that is. Go on Pixelogic's.com site ZBrush uh, forward slash download center plugins, and then you'll find the plugin, and you just need to download it. Now I've downloaded it here, and you can see it's on my desktop. So I'm going to open it up and just going to take this data drag it across to my desktop now I need to go and find where my Pixelogic uh, ZBrush installation is and my installation of Pixelogic is in my local folder is in programs files and Pixelogic and ZBrush are eight now if I go down to where the plugins are which is let me find it do 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 Start up. Plugs, let me just check in here. Yep, that looks good. You can see the list of all the other ones you've got in there. So I'm just going to drag that in there. And I've already got it in there, so I'm going to skip these files. You can see it's already in there for me. Okay, but if you need to do that, that's what you need to do. So I'm going to shove that in the bin. Right, so we can just open up um, ZBrush now, and I'll just do the blend shape. Okay, so um, to get the blend shapes plugin to work, if I go to plugins, you can see I've got Maya blend shapes. Now, if you hit create new layer, all that will happen is it will create a new layer in here. So we can do it this way or we can come up to Maya and click it in there and it will just create that layer. You might want to name this. I'm just going to name this mouth. Now we can have multiple blend shapes. Do remember that. We've got it already in record mode so it's all ready to go. We're on the sub tool we want to use. So I'm going to just bring this up now and um, just start to edit this this particular tool. Just make sure I'm on the right tool. There he is. Okay. And let's just give him a little bit of a thing going on here. I don't know, just a funny little rrr. doesn't really matter. And just put that down there. Maybe bring him up. Now I could do the tongue as well. I'm just going to do something like that. That is good enough for what I'm trying to show you. Okay, so he's finished. That's great. Go back down here and we can, uh, we didn't have the right tool. I remember I was on the pants. Pants. So let's go back to the pants and get rid of the layer out there. Just uh, finish with that crap. Let's just um, delete it out. Okay, you need to make sure you're on the right tool before you start. So I'm gonna just go take this back to this using this and I'm going to do the same so this time I'll create my new layer just directly in here and we'll call it mouth mouth and hit enter okay it's recording okay we're all set to go okay so do the same as what I did before come in there just do your facial movements however you see them working something like that is good um, remember I can also smooth this out as well if I wanted to and uh, we can push that back a bit as well maybe bring that forwards a little bit of modification there okay i'm not going to get carried away that's just a facial movement so now we've finished we can turn this off and we can start to see that working do you see that blend shape working there we can also go the opposite way and we can extend out but that will break our position so good we finished that so what we need to do now is get that across to maya Right now I want to move into the plugin itself which we've got here. So what we've got is we've got a few options here. We've got selected now. Selected means that the layer, the subtool that you're on, okay, and only that will be taken across to Maya. Uh, visible is all visible subtools. Now of course I've got all my subtools on so it would take them all across. But if I went down and maybe turn the eye off there and then just did visible then everything would come across apart from the eye and all is all whether they're off or on okay so with that in mind we just want to take that face across i don't want to take all the subtools across if i wanted to i could 
So I'm just gonna do selected. And that's the only sub tool that's been selected, which is that Minion 07, because I just wanna see that effect of that blend shape on that skin, okay? Okay, so let's do it now. Let's go to plugins. We got selected, so it's only going to be that skin, okay? Which has got the blend shapes connected to it here, the blend shape, okay? So we go to Z plugin. We're just gonna go export blend shape on selected, and this will open Maya up then, uh, launch Maya, and we will have that option to be able to change that blend shape and key that blend shape. Okay, so here he is crossing Maya. Obviously the blend shape tag has already opened. Um, you'll notice that he's labeled mouth. And if I start to move this, we can then get that effect. So you could come in here, uh, press K. Uh, let me just select this. Uh, S, uh, it's S, yeah. And put another key there, put S. And then you've got a a blend sheet going all going on let's key that there and let's key it here so now you've got this animation so boom 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 so really easy and of course then you'd save this out as a project yeah so you'd save that you'd set this up as a project project send it out and then that data is taken across so if you haven't got the blend shape tab open then and you can always see whether there's a blend shape on something by coming into the histories there but if you haven't got it open you can come down to windows animator and then to blend shape and then all your blend shapes the more you have they'll populate along here will pop up okay so really easy excellent stuff you can also set a base um, for that as well of course you could have winking eyes whatever you like so really short tutorial there on how to use blend shapes using the blend shape plugin from zbrush which we have here okay so we know how to load it in we know how to set it up you know how to set your layers up and you know how to take it across cool all right so there you go elvis sorted <laughs>